So when I was 55 years old, I found myself divorced with two kids, and uh, I think they were they were 13 and 11, and um, without a job. I had been a fitness instructor and trainer while I'd been married, and I w had been an executive assistant beforehand, and I thought, well, it's, I'm just going to get another job doing that. I always gotten jobs really, really easily. So I naturally thought that I was just going to go and get another job doing that and continue doing the fitness and everything would be fine. But in the time when I had had kids, um, you know, A, I was way older um, and B, things had changed a lot because of the internet and I couldn't get a job and I couldn't you know, no matter what I did, I couldn't even get an interview. You know, everything had changed. It was, you know, everybody just um, applied for jobs online. And on paper, I didn't look great, you know, because I hadn't worked in 10 years and I was old and uh, I have a funny name. And so I, it was, you know, I was just finally giving up. I was like, okay, fine, I can't do that. So, what am I going to do? And I thought, well, I'm going to make a job out of fitness. So the first thing I thought to do was to build a website. So I started trying to do that. And I was building this WordPress website and it was just mind blowingly difficult. I had a website designer and it was expensive. And every time I wanted to change a word on it, I had to pay her to do that and that wasn't working. So I don't know how I found it, but I ended up trying Wix and really enjoyed building my own website on that. And I, like I had fun doing it. So I built that and then a friend of mine um, was looking for a website for his nonprofit. So I built him a website and then it just snowballed. And in the course of, you know, a couple of months, I went from being a fitness instructor, building a website to be like, no, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to build websites for other people for money. And that's going to be my job. And I've done that every single day since then. And that was in uh, what 2015. So, you know, for nine years now, I've been doing that every single day. So I'm really good at it by now. My point being that, um, you know, if you've got one of these and no matter how old you are, if you find something online that you are good at doing and that you have fun at, you can make money doing it. There's pretty much every task online right now is is outsourced in you know by somebody, you know be it you know using Zapier, um, Google all these if you don't know what they are, or setting up emails on ConvertKit for people, or building a website, or doing things in Canva, or setting up you know a, um, Trello boards or Asana boards or you know any you know they're just anything that people use online any platform if you become an expert at how to use that platform you can go to a place like um, Fiverr or Indeed or you know there's a lot of places where you can promote yourself online and you can sell it from your home at any time of the day or night you know, meaning you don't have to go to a job, you don't have to go to work, you can work at three in the morning if you want to, you can, you know, do whatever, you can have your freedom and make your own money. I think the key is that I find it fun and easy to do that. It's not hard for me. And some people find it hard, and that's why I'm able to sell my ability to be able to do it. But there are a lot of things that I find hard, like, you know, like bookkeeping or something like that, that somebody else or, or emails on ConvertKit uh, that I mentioned, I find that really difficult. And so 
there are all these things that you know you find easy other people find hard and that's what you have to find you have to find the thing that that is easy for you and market yourself doing that and so if you you know if you are older if you're divorced if you're at a point where you want to stay home with kids or if you're staying home with older parents whatever um, you can take care of yourself you can have a business and you don't have to go out anywhere if, if you're on social security if you are retired you can you can make it better you can make more money you can still have a life and uh, there's no reason to retire I don't I don't not a fan of that word so you don't have to do that you can keep working you know on your own terms and and have freedom and security and stability in your life so here's how I did it and here's how kind of I would skew that to be how I would start again um, I would be thinking about what I like what I like to do what I used to do you know being an executive assistant I knew a lot I was familiar with computers very familiar with computers and I was always really good at them I was liked doing graphic things on computers um, are you a graphics person are you a words person are you a numbers person what do you like to do so look in the area of the things that you feel happy doing and comfortable doing and that come easily to you and then find the platform and a lot of platforms you'll find how-to videos like for example for Wix I make a lot of how-to Wix videos so if you decided you wanted to become a Wix designer you could go look at my YouTube channel and start teaching yourself and there are a lot of other ones on the, the um, internet as well so go look at something else go look at how to um, use QuickBooks how, that would be amazing and <laughs> I wish I knew how to do that and or how to use ConvertKit or how to use MailerLite or how to use um, you know anything and go teach yourself how to do it and then start finding people that you can do it for I wouldn't just start doing it for free I would always charge something I mean even when you're just starting out even trying to figure things out I would charge something something small you know two hundred dollars something and um, just so you are getting paid and then just start increasing that make yourself a website for your business start posting online and you know what if you don't like it you can stop you don't you know nothing is um, forever nothing is written in stone you don't have to do it anymore if you don't want to but why not try why not give it six months and find something try it out and you know see if you can't make you know a few thousand dollars a month extra than what you're making right now and you know travel or you know do some fun things that you just can't do right now and you know what what if it did work what if it did work and you found happiness doing this and you met more people and um, you made money and you gained a lot of freedom and you were able to help your family um, it could change your life so there's no downside so give it a try and I highly recommend it and I'm sorry this was not a makeup tutorial I will never make a makeup tutorial <laughs>